Welcome back, and uh, thanks for tapping in. I just passed through uh, one of those events, but I'd like to talk about something that um, I noticed myself. After over 2,000 hours in the game, um, when I first started the game, I didn't think I would start the way I did. I thought I would get into the game and I would totally be a racer, street racer, because that was kind of my background in real life. So I thought, you know, art would imitate life in that regard. It did not. I jumped into this game and I immediately hit the off-road. Titan being one of the first videos that I that I did in this game and one of the first ways I used to test cars because I, I did a lot of off-road vehicles in this game. So little by little, after mastering the off-road and the rally versions of this game, I decided to try my hand at racing. So I got into the racing, and to me, I think I got pretty good at the racing. And then another aspect of the game was drifting. And then I find that in my garage, I have all of these cars, these drifty vehicles, including this one, which is the biggest sleeper of them all. Zero to 60 in 1.8 seconds, 1.6 seconds. Let's see real quick what it is. 1.8, almost 1.9 seconds, so under two seconds. It's got Tesla speed, zero to 60. Um, it doesn't have this super top speed, but you wouldn't think that a drift car could be so hooked up when you set it to racing. And all of these cars have excess of 1,000 horsepower. Like, why haven't I been digging into these drift cars all this time now I'd like to feature a few that one was the Toyota Corolla hatchback from 2019 the next one I would like to feature I'm gonna feature maybe four or five so the next one I would definitely like to feature here is going to be this Toyota Supra it's amazing look at first of all let's have a look at it Like, amazing. Amazing. Right? Look at that fully racing kitted out. Like, you buy the regular Super, it's not going to have all this cool stuff on it. You're not going to be able to see an uh, intercooler in the back. You know, it's not going to have the bolted on wing or the bolted on window panels or arches or any of that cool stuff may not even have the canards if you put the front splitter on it so the aesthetics of these cars are far superior to their stock counterparts or or pretty much any body kit that they have available in the game and again so let's feature this car real quick let me show you what this thing can do let's go real quick and see what the tuning says it, it can do Oops. Zero to 60 in 1.9 seconds. Top speed, 256 miles an hour. Of course, it's great for drifting still. Because it's got all that power. Right? Look at this. Let's just hit the highway real quick. Let's show you that in addition to being drifty and be able to cut loose at a moment's notice, it's still pretty locked in for handling. Look at it, it's dialed in. 
Now I went in with a fine tooth comb and I tuned the ones that don't have the uh, drift or racing liveries on them. So those are the ones that so far I've dug into and really checked out. Let's check the next one out. So this video doesn't end up being too long. But like, are you kidding me? The next one has definitely got to be this Mustang right here. This Mustang. Let's check out what the tuning says for this. Zero to 60 in 2.1 seconds. Top speed, 267 miles per hour. And I got it dialed in. Dialed. Dialed. This one has probably got the best handling out of all of them so far. And one of the highest top speeds. Now remember, once a car does 250, as I said in a previous episode, that's that makes speeds higher than that negligible if you've got turns. That's why the Hennessy Venom isn't the best car in the game. It's got the highest top speed, but it's not the best car. And neither is the Jesco. In fact, I'll take the I'll take the Regera, the Ajera. Over Jesco. Or Yesco. But that's just me. Okay, and the next one I would like to show you is probably my favorite out of all of them. And I think it's one of the biggest sleepers in the game, to tell you the perfectly honest truth. Now this Beamer right here is one of them. But again, I don't want to risk making this video super long. This Mazda RX-7 is also one. This Chevrolet Corvette is also one. This BMW is also one. But this bad boy, please note the horsepower, 1,982 purse spurs. Okay, I'm gonna jump into this real quick because this, because of the power, it might be one of the best all around vehicles in the game because you could throw your dirt off-road tires on this and get busy. Raise your suspension up and get busy in this thing. Sounds amazing. I think this car might be, correct me if I'm wrong, but this car might have the most horsepower in the entire game. Not the best handling, doesn't handle as good as that Mustang. But it's no slouch does handle really good this one's got the highest top speed out of all of them and with some tweaking I'm sure you can get more than the 268 I'm getting out of it and I'll probably go back and do some tweaking but I've been playing with this car for quite some time and this is the max that I've been able to achieve so far, but it is so dialed in. I love this car. Dare I say that this is my favorite car in the entire game? I might say this is my favorite car in the entire game. Like if I had a choice and I had to get rid of every car in my garage and just race with one, just drive with one, I'll take my chances with this one. Yeah. I would definitely take my chances with this one. In addition to being gorgeous. Yeah. But yeah, I just wanted to just wanted to ask that question. Does anybody use these drift cars for things other than drifting? Because 
They're incredible. Yeah. Thanks for tapping in. Peace.